Hello, lovies, and welcome back to Thy Kingdom Come, Matthew 6 and 33. And by the way, lovies, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and take this time right now to click on that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified of future uploads. Lovies, did you all know that you were created to succeed and that you were a finished product? Would you all agree that once a manufacturer has completed his product, that it is then and only when he places his image on the product? It doesn't even matter if it's only a cleaning product. The manufacturer label doesn't go on the product until what has been placed inside of that bottle has been tested, tried, and rings true that it can function in the fashion that it was intended to function. Even Toyota, Kia, Ford, and BMW does the same thing. Jeremiah chapter one, verse five, lets us know that God already knew us before he formed us in our mother's womb. You see, to have been formed, that is like having been built. So in Genesis chapter one and verse 26, when God created you, in his image, that is when God was saying, I have finished my product. And now I can place my image on this creature you were created to succeed until sin crept into God's product, whether it was drugs or alcohol or some other type of abnormal use of God's product. But no matter what, success is still built inside of you. You have the ability to overcome obstacles that are placed in your path. You have the ability to move mountains, so to speak. And because you have that ability and God placed it inside of you, you have to determine to make a decision to let another of God's laws kick in. And I'm not referring to the Ten Commandments. In order for you to be moved from a state of depression to a state of God's promises, one in particular, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That is when faith kicks in. For faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Faith is seeing and believing it before it actually happens. Faith is knowing that you can because God said you can and believing that you're going to move past your present situation. Lovies, I'm not trying to boast, but I grew up in the projects. That is what some people would call the ghetto. And when I were a little girl, I remember visualizing me pulling into what I would call a mansion. I remember driving down the driveway into a three-car garage, brick house. Now, this was something that I had never seen before or in my life, not even on TV. But I think because I saw that, I unconsciously began to direct my future towards a nice home like that. Now, I don't have a three-car garage home. So sometimes I find myself asking the Lord, okay, Lord. Since I don't have that now, is that something that I'm going to have in the future? <laughs> and I want you all to know that God has allowed me to have a home that is free and clear of a mortgage. Now, I don't have a mansion in terms of what man would call a mansion, but it is a mansion to me. I grew up hearing people in church talking about God being the owner of houses and land. And I thought to myself about one of his promises to us, where it says, no good thing will he withhold from those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And y'all, I'm foolish enough to believe his word. But lovies, when I was speaking about the laws of God, I was speaking about the unspoken laws of God. For example, the laws of gravity. No one has to tell you when you go up to the rooftop of a building not to jump off. No one has to tell you that flat. The law of smoking, you will probably end up with cancer. The law of too much sugar, you will probably end up with cancer or diabetes. The laws of not exercising and eating right, you'll end up overweight. If you want to be successful, change the laws that you're using. Here are a few things that you must do in order to make sure that God's product is successful. First, you must know your destination. In other words, have a vision of where and what you're planning to do, to be, or where you're going. Second, you must write the vision and make it plain so that your purpose can be fulfilled. Don't complicate the steps. Stay focused on your goals and keep it simple. 
Number three, monitor your flight. In other words, be careful who you're hanging around, things that you're dibbling and dabbling in, people and places where you're going, because those type of things can hinder your steps in becoming successful. Amen. But I want you to know that you are a finished product. God has placed his image in you and on you. And you are and were made to be successful in life, no matter what it is. God told you to have dominion over the earth. He has given you all the necessary things to accomplish what you're supposed to accomplish and for your purpose. Amen. But love you, it's time to go. I love you guys and I want you all to know that I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today. And come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. Luke chapter 17 verses 20 through 21.